Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video we're going to be having a bit of fun with Mall Man on Icarus Lanes. Uh, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, it kind of seemed like Mall Man was pretty much perfectly designed for uh, Act 7, Chapter 1, Quest 1, a beta map where we had buffed up uh, EMP modification and Icarus Lane. And uh, then I realized that I should probably just bring in Mall Man to the Icarus map that we already have in Act 6.2 and see how he does overall. So we can see that I pretty much immediately got to my kind of like critical mass and I'm able to uh, basically inflict bleeds with every single one of my crit. Every single one of my hits is guaranteed to be crit. So every hit is basically a guaranteed bleed. Obviously, unless the Ant-Man happens to glance my attacks and this is kind of like one of the trickier fights and the only fight where i'm gonna lose kind of like a very substantial amount of health largely due to the glancing but uh, from this point forward he's just gonna absolutely shred everything and this is a six star rank one mole man i'm not running any of his own kind of like synergies i'm just basically running nick fury team which i often do that gives him the three away charges and also heals him up a bit at the beginning of every fight just to kind of like top up his health but here we can see thanks to icarus i'm getting all of those furies which enables me to hit a lot harder as soon as those degenerations come uh they just uh, kind of like feed my monster mass i get to convert all of them and uh yeah within a combo to every single fight is over as soon as I start to get those debuffs. So Mole Man does in fact absolutely shred uh, Icarus node uh, and obviously he's only one of the few champions but uh, all in all uh, he's definitely here a champion that would be otherwise pretty underwhelming and useless to uh on icarus node he's actually extremely formidable and uh quite a decent option if i must add because yeah he doesn't need to be duped for any of this stuff and uh he just has those guaranteed crits so as soon as you enter monster mass you're guaranteed to be hitting extremely hard and deal a lot of bleed damage and all sorts of damage in general that we could see the fight lasted 19 hits from a six star rank one. And that is some quite an absurd speed in terms of like taking down your opponents. Now I'm gonna be going up against the Human Torch once more. I will have a longer fight against Doctor Strange because Doctor Strange obviously uh, counterspells pretty much all of my Furies. So I'm gonna to have to build up to a level three there, but uh, we're gonna to get to it when we uh, do. Uh, first, we need to deal with this Human Torch. You can see that at this point already, uh, how all of my Furies kind of like built up. All of my monster mass I entered in critical mass. And at this point, I'm just starting to absolutely tear into that human torch. And he's just going down with pretty much a combo and a single hit. So this is one scary, scary mall man. Just uh, lets you imagine like if mall man would have this damage or close to this damage kind of like outside of these very, very specific conditions, he could potentially be like a very, very fun champion but unfortunately obviously it's quite tricky to build up his monster mass charges in vast majority of the fights and even if you do typically that damage will not be worth it uh, take those 12 13 furies away and he still will not be hitting too hard even if he reaches that critical mass now here as i mentioned against dr strange we're going to be taking a bit longer to finish this fight out because we can see him actively basically dispelling all of my uh, furies now i still do somewhat increase damage to to a degree kind of uh, but at the same time it's nowhere near as impressive as it otherwise would be here i wanted to drop a couple of uh, heavy attacks before i went level three to kind of like ensure that i enter the monster mass immediately after i drop my level three because then i would the critical mass yes the cri i enter the critical mass well he's a rampage mode either way so here we can see level three, his frenzy is active. Frenzy is the name of it, uh, after all. And now at least every single one of my hits does crit. Uh, thanks to some furies, I do increase the amount of damage. Obviously all that bleed adds up as well. At this point, we have like 12 bleeds on opponent. Still have like a couple uh, of those uh, monster mass charges. Now this was a risky point because he got a level three, but thankfully he didn't throw it immediately. And the damage over time effects just kind of like took the fight over there for me. Now next up, we're going to be going up against Crossbones. And Crossbones is going to be somewhat a bit trickier fight as well. Because obviously, I'm going to be trying to inflict a whole ton of bleeds on this Crossbones. And he has that uh, chance, that possibility 
to shrug them off and gain the fury buffs which is something to kind of like watch out for i suppose and uh, this is not going to be like the smoothest fight but we're still gonna get it down so it's not too bad and you can see that i ent the enter the frenzy mode and that means every single hit that i inflict does crit but we can see that he definitely shrugs off well more than like 25 percent or 33 percent i think it which is supposed to be his rate of shrugging off these debuffs. Uh, but either way, a uh, couple more hits and down goes the crossbones. And uh, next up is going to be some Symbiote Supreme. That's why it's going to be quite quick, quite easy. Obviously because Mole Man inflicts a lot of bleed debuffs and because he naturally is very disadvantaged against mutant champions because he is not guaranteed to shrug off all of those debuffs. He's not able to take out Omega Red, so there will be no boss fight in this video with Mole Man, but we're going to make it uh, to the boss basically using only mole man without needing any items and just absolutely plowing through i think this entire video is about seven minutes and that's pretty much the entire lane in seven minutes using mole man and mole man only you can see again that absurd damage guaranteed crit rate guaranteed bleeds all of the damage adds up 23 hits the fight is over for mole man uh definitely makes me think like if 2020 champs weren't so watered down and if Molman actually had a decent damage output he could have been such a nice champion because his graphics are amazing like it's kind of like very enjoyable to watch him fight sitting on the back of that like giganto giant beast and the artwork department as i say time and time again in kabam just absolutely amazing it's too bad they had to destroy this character for any kind of like worthwhile content and again such an easy fight with mole man but that is also going to be pretty much it for today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then hit that like see ya